Alright guys, so I posted this GIF on Reddit. It's a Bedrock Edition, Java Edition cross-playing on my creative server. Um, basically, I got a ton of requests asking how to do this, and it was pretty tricky to set up, and there wasn't really a lot of uh, guides online for the, to do it. So, I'm going to do that here for you now. Okay, so what you're going to need is a Java server. Um, it can be vanilla, but it's probably better if you do Spigot or Paper MC. Uh, that's that's how I've done it anyway, and then you need the actual geyser itself So this is what's going to bridge the connection from um, Bedrock Edition to the Java server So you get that from their github here. Um, it's open source, which is pretty neat come down here to the download right here Click on that All right, so it'll put you on the master branch um, it's basically like the stable version, I guess, but it's missing some features like inventory and crafting and stuff like that. So you want to click up here to geyser and then inventory. So they've got bucket, bungee cord, sponge, um, velocity, which is another proxy like bungee cord. I haven't gotten any of them to really work that well, so I just use the standalone, which is geyser.jar. So we'll go ahead and download that. I've got it in this folder on my desktop here. All right. So once you've got that, you want to put it in the folder here, obviously, and then create just a regular batch file for it. This is what I've got, just Java, some memory variables, and then the jar itself. <clears throat> and then you want to go ahead and start that. Let that load up. Basically, that's done. Open the config. Obviously, mine was already done. That's why it was there, but yours would have generated. And this is the config. So you've got basically you can ignore the bedrock options here um, we've got MOTD options here so I might just put some tutorial just so we know okay and here's the remote IP if it's on the same machine you don't need to change this um, if you were for instance you know you had this on its own separate VPS with its own static IP as the the Java server then you could put um, the IP in there but because I'm hosting this on the same machine, we can just leave that as what it is. For the authentication type, we've got three options. We've got online, offline, and floodgate. I'm going to talk about floodgate in the next video, but for this one, we're going to put it on offline mode. If you put it in online mode, when it connects to Geyser, it'll ask for a Java account. And obviously, you probably don't want Bedrock users to be uh, putting in a Java account, because then they may as well just use Java, right? So I'll put that in offline mode for now. Alright, that is basically good to go. So that's the geyser running. Now if I go into Minecraft now, and you'll see I've got the port here. I've just got it on localhost because I've already got another one on my server. If I connect, it'll work, but then it'll give me nothing because there's no server. So we need to go to our Java server and start that. But before we do, we need to make sure where are we, that it's in offline mode. So you go to server.properties. Head to online mode here and put it on false. Otherwise, it'll reject um, any of the connections because Geyser is in offline mode. Let's close that. Start it up. So that is done. We'll go up to Geyser now. Oh, up to Minecraft, sorry. Scroll down. It'll, it might say locating server for a bit. Um, that's fine. It'll clear up. And just like that, we're in. Um, that was just initial lag. That's why I went so fast there. Okay. So you can see on the server. On the server that I'm connected here. And I can opt myself over here. There it is. Now it's updated. Oh, I'm already an operator. Um, but I can de opt myself just to prove that I am actually connected to the right server. There you go. Um. I don't know, it works. This is Java. There are some issues. The sound is a bit buggy. You can see I'm not actually making any breaking noises, but like you can hear the footsteps. Um, but like inventory works and all that um, pretty well if you're using the inventory branch anyway. Uh, that's basically it for a lot of people. Um, I'm going to make a floodgate tutorial so you can connect with um, Bedrock accounts on Java Edition premium servers without actually having a Java account. Alright, thank you for watching.